Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Since the new Fire TV sticks arrived in 2020, I've been getting more and more questions asking why some apps only show a greyed out icon when they are installed and how to fix it. Now, this video will hopefully help to explain why this is happening and show you a few different ways you can work around this problem. So when you're ready, grab your remote and let's get started. Recently, I've noticed more questions about greyed out icons appearing on the Amazon Home and App screens. The first time that I noticed this was on my Amazon Fire Cube that runs on Fire OS 7. But with the release of the third generation and Fire TV Stick Lite, which also runs on Fire OS 7, this issue has become more prominent with more of you reaching out. When problem solving, the first thing we need to take a look at is why this is happening. Well, first, this only seems to be happening to apps that have been sideloaded. This suggests either an issue with Fire OS 7 itself or due to a file structure change within Fire OS 7, it could be that application developers need to change the file structure when writing storage locations for images within their apps to be compatible with Fire OS 7. From what I've researched, when apps are installed from the Amazon App Store on Fire OS 7 devices, some elements are not installed from within the APK file itself, but they're downloaded directly from the Amazon servers. I've also read that the size of the image file for the icon is an issue, and this could be a reason it will not display correctly. We can hope that maybe this issue will be resolved in later releases of apps or OS updates, but what can we do in the meantime? There are a few simple ways to get around this issue from basic text prompts on screen or installing a new app that will change your home screen and display the icons correctly, and you can choose whichever way suits you best. The main issue with greyed out icons is that you cannot see the name of the app you are selecting. So the first way that I want to show you is the most simple option that will allow you to see all of your apps, including greyed out ones, without having to make any changes or install any new apps onto your device. Instead of accessing your apps from the home screen or from the apps screen, you can instead go to settings applications, manage installed applications, and every installed app will display correctly within this list. And from here, you can select and open any application. The second way is to use the built-in text banner that displays text and information about an item. And you can turn this on from within the settings. It's actually an accessibility feature but it's really easy to turn on and off when you don't need it. So let's activate that feature now by going to Settings, Accessibility, Text Banner. First, turn the text banner on and a tutorial will pop up on screen giving you details on how to use this feature. Give it a quick read, then press Select to exit the tutorial. You can see by turning this feature on, when you're now highlighted over anything, you now get a text banner at the bottom of the screen that gives you more information. When you first turn it on, it's quite big, and that is great, obviously, because this is an accessibility feature after all, but you don't need for it to be this huge. You can customize it. Now, I recommend changing the following settings, but you can change it to however you like. First, I like to change the font size and color. Change the text size to small and change the text color to white. Then click back. Then go into the background options and change the background color to black and leave the opacity at 100%. Click back. Then next in the banner size, timing and move options, change the maximum width to 33%.
and the maximum height to 25%. Then tap down to the Keep Banner at Chosen Height and Width option and turn this off. I also like to change the vertical position to top so that the text banner is shown at the top of the screen. And then turn off each of the settings for Show Details, Show Additional Text, Show Screen Description and Show Usage Hints. Now when I go to my home or apps screen, when I highlight over any app with a greyed out icon, I can see the text banner at the top of the screen and it tells me the name of the app. So this is another simple but effective way to tell what apps you are looking at. Once you open the app, the feature has served its purpose of helping you to identify your apps. So you can press and hold the play pause button on your remote to quickly turn this feature on or off. The third way around this issue is to use a launcher, which simply put is an application that you can install that gives you a new home screen. And this is probably the most effective way to get around this issue and get all of your icons back. There are loads of different launchers that you can use and you can find links to other tutorials for installing other launchers in the description below this video. But my personal favourite is the ATV launcher as it's easy to use and fully customisable. With Downloader open, type in firetvsticks.com forward slash ATV. Then once the installation file has finished downloading, install ATV Launcher and open it up. With ATV Launcher open, you can now see that you've got a new home screen that automatically imports all of your apps that you have installed. And you can see the app name with an image with no more greyed out icons. With ATV Launcher, you can use it like this, or if you're not quite happy with how it looks, you can spend some time configuring it to your liking. And that's what I like about using ATV Launcher. I've spent some time setting up ATV Launcher and customizing it to my liking with all of my apps laid out in different sections for easier access. I can even make my Fire Stick default to ATV Launcher whenever my Fire Stick wakes up, when I exit applications or when I press the home button on my remote. I can do that using an app called Launcher Manager, which again isn't available on the Amazon App Store, but we can download it with the Downloader app. With Downloader open, type in firetvsticks.com forward slash L manager. Then once the installation file has finished installing, open the Launcher Manager app. With it open, click on Launcher Options, then click on Enable Custom Launcher. You should then get an Allow ADB Bugging prompt on screen. Tick Always Allow from this computer and click OK. Now this disables the Amazon home screen. You should then see that no custom launcher is selected. So again, click on Launcher Options then click Change Custom Launcher. Give it a few seconds, then on this new screen, click to select from the list of installed apps which custom launcher you want to set as a default. So in this example, we're going to select ATV Launcher from the list and click Save. Now when you press the Home button on your remote, you will be at the ATV Launcher home screen. Now, if you like what you see with ATV Launcher, soon I will be bringing an in-depth look into ATV Launcher, showing you how to customise the layout, add cool widgets, change the background and create folders. So make sure that you're subscribed with notifications turned on so you don't miss it. Now you have several ways to choose from that you can use to get around the issue with greyed out icons. Take a look and let me know which method you'll be using by leaving a comment down below. 
Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like. And subscribe to my channel, making sure that you turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my latest releases.